if you want to have a capsule wardrobe that actually works, then you need to start shopping with intention. And most of us, well, supposedly, only wear 30% of our wardrobe. So that might seem small, but if you think about it, how many of the items that you own have you worn in the past two weeks? And how many of them have you worn more than twice? It's not like you need to have a different outfit for each single day of the month, but do you really want to have a wardrobe full of clothes that you don't really wear? And that's what capsule wardrobes are going to solve for you. A capsule is a selection of pieces that you can use interchangeably to create different outfits. It is extremely handy if you feel like you have nothing to wear, basically you have a formula and you just have to follow that. But today we're not doing that generic list that you can find on Pinterest because if you follow that, that's probably what hasn't worked for you. I'm currently working on one for the transition between summer and autumn, if it ever gets cold in Texas. But if you want to see a real life example on how I do it, you can let me know in the comments and I'll show you how I did it. You can still till the end and get two bonus ones. What is my life like? The first thing that you need to ask yourself is what is my life like? The two main reasons why capsules fail is one, not fitting into your lifestyle and two, not taking into account your personal style. It's not going to make a lot of sense for you to have a wardrobe full of places and slacks if you work as a yoga instructor. There shouldn't be a specific item list set in stone because all of us are different, we like different things. For example, I would definitely have stars and sparkles somewhere in my capsule, but most people won't. So maybe it's not going to be a 30-piece capsule, not a 50-piece capsule. You can start as small as you can and then add as needed. So the first thing that you need to ask yourself is what is it that I do every day? A few areas that you can look into are your job, work, what do you do, then what do you do on your leisure time and then what kind of social activities do you like to do. Think about the nature of your lifestyle. Do you have a corporate job that requires dressy outfits? Are you a stay-at-home parent that needs basically <laughs> Kid proof clothing. Do you like going out on weekends? Do you like going to brunch, dinner, movies with your significant other or your friends? Write those down and try to sort them into categories that might share some clothing requirements. For example, homeware and loungewear or things that you use to run errands. Then you can have work and school, might be quite similar. What do you wear on weekends and casual outings? Then what would you wear for something that's a little bit more dressy or to a date night? As a side note, things that go into the chore category, hobbies and working out clothes wouldn't normally count unless it is something very specific that you do quite often. For example, if you are a personal trainer, then working out clothes are going to be part of your capsule wardrobe, but you can add those to the job category. The next one is what do I have and what do I wear? Remember when I told you that we only wear 30% of what we have? Let's revisit that. Empty your wardrobe, empty your dresser, anywhere where you might be storing clothes, you need to have them all together on a pile. Try to identify the pieces that you wear the most, the ones that you repeat, and if, if there's something that you use almost every single day, of course we're keeping that, and we might even buy another one. Then let's identify the pieces that we don't wear that often, but we still wear them. We're keeping theirs as well. And finally, we have the items that you rarely wear, but before you get rid of those, let's ask yourself, why is it that you don't wear it? Is it because it doesn't fit? Gone. Is it because you don't really like the way it looks to you? Then it's gone again. Is it because you don't really know what to wear with the weight and create outfits with it? You might have to get rid of those, but maybe you don't. We're going to see that in the other tips. Or is it something that you're only going to wear on a special occasion? Those are not ideal for a capsule because the idea is to be able to pair everything with everything. But you can keep them. Just they might not just be part of your base capsule. For example, a winter capsule versus a summer capsule. If it's summertime, 
you're going to put away all of your coats, all of your jackets, and if it's winter time, then you can get rid of all of your flowy tops and your shorts. Three is to ask yourself what looks good on me. This is about having a more limited selection of pieces, so everything that we have with the capsule are things that need to look great on us. The three things that you need to take into account are your color palette, your body structure, and your body shape. I'm always talking about these things, this is my specialty, the thing that I like the most. If you want to know more about it, then here's a playlist with all of that information. But if you want to do that and you want me to sell you because I'm a personal seller, you can go to cocoselling.com. What's my style? And you don't have to define one, you can have multiple ones. So, my style, I would describe it like, I know, it's like a very preppiness. I don't know. <laughs> The thing is that you don't really need to figure out just one style, you're going to create your own, so what are the things that you like? Here is a playlist on how to find your own style, I talk about it all the time, and then I also have a few style breakdowns if you're interested in one. If we're building a non-boring capsule, then we need to take into account our style, and it's our personal style, you don't need to dress like someone else, you're going to do your own thing. What are the things that do not count? So if we're doing a 30 piece capsule, you're not going to count your socks, you're not going to count your underwear, and you're not going to count your pajamas or workout coats, because those are not things that you're going to wear as a statement piece. Well, yeah, maybe, but most likely not. What are the items that I need? So if you're building something that's for like an all year round capsule or something that's not just for a specific amount of time, 30 pieces is probably not going to be enough. 50 pieces might be enough, but not really. According to a few studies, most people earn between 75 and 150 pieces, but that's not just clothes. You have clothes, you have shoes, accessories, bags, everything. I do like a 60 piece formula, but it's adapted for every single person, and I'll show it in my capsule demo. Then what do I need to buy? Some of you might start from scratch, most likely not, so grab your list, go to your wardrobe again, and just check which one of those items do you already own, which ones have you never worn but you actually know they're there, and what do you definitely not have? because those are the ones that we're going to buy. I guess it might be easier for you to think about it as your fashion grocery list. These are my two bonus tips for the capsule wardrobe. Technically, your capsule is already done, but these two steps are things that I like to do just to make sure that it actually works and it's not just like, whoa, I have a capsule. What do I do with this now? This one is about how to actually build your capsule we have all of the pieces, we went through our list, now what do we do with those pieces? I do recommend taking a picture of each of the items, or we'll look for something similar on the internet, then you're going to paste all of that on a file. You can use Canva, I use Adobe's InDesign and Adobe's Illustrator, but you probably don't want to buy those programs just to build a capsule. <laughs> So just use Canva or something like that. Then you can do something similar to what Polyvore used to be. What you want to do is to start building outfits with that. So grab a top, grab some bottoms, accessories, and you'll know what you want to wear. This is actually something that I would do before heading to the stores because that way you can actually see if the pieces that you have chosen and the pieces that you have actually go together. And we finally have our perfect capsule non-boring, it fits your lifestyle, and it's practical. But, how to stop wearing it? We have our pieces, technically all of them go together. Sometimes the outfits that we think about do not translate very well into real life. So, what I like to do is that every single time that I wear something that I really really like, I take a picture of it. So, if I don't know what to wear, I can just refer back to that. And the other thing that I like to do and recommend, that's basically the same thing but different, is that every two weeks I can grab a Sunday or something like that and try to build three outfits. 
Take a picture of the ones that I like, it might take you about one or two hours, but then you're going to have a folder to refer to when you don't know what to wear. Try to do this with the items that you don't really wear that often or the new items in your capsule just to get used to them. If you want to see how I do this in real life, then you need to subscribe. If you want me to sell you, then you can just go to cocostyling.com. I'm a personal stylist. I specialize in color analysis for darker skin tones and then body analysis and style developing. I'm taking a pause from the color week videos, not the series that's on Instagram, but the videos just to show you a few things for the transition from summer to autumn. It was great seeing you. If you want to see more videos related to autumn, then let me know. Bye!